All right, check this right. Before we even get into the intro of this video, I just want to say two things. Two things about this story I'm about to tell y'all. Um, one, if you're ever going to do anything illegal, not even illegal, if you're ever going to do anything that's dangerous, that might jeopardize your life, do not bring a woman. And number two, do not let rap music influence you to do something very stupid that can probably cost you your life. With that being said, let's get started. I remember eating that rice, beans, and hash. Ain't no block like my block. I'm from 19th and Mass. I'm so Buffalo. I still am, and I'm still with it. Hoodie on, white tee, and the bills fitted. So 500 out the cab, and we still win it. All right, check this, right? Real quick disclaimer, real quick disclaimer before we even start this video, before we even start this video. If you're the type of female that's beefed with another female on Facebook, and you put up a stat talking about, yeah, pull up, I'm going to give her these hands, and then two hours later, we see you on somebody else's live, getting dragged by your bundles, would you just scream and let me get up, let me get up, let me get up. This video is probably not for you. And if you're the type of guy that lie about a fight, like say you you come out of the club, you bump into somebody, y'all get into it, you have a one-on-one -on -one fight, but if you come back to us and tell us that, man, I did that dude dirty, man, I washed and he only hit me one time. But you got two black eyes, he only hit you one time, but you got two black eyes, this video is probably not for you. And last but not least, if you're the type of person that's a grown-ass man, but you will let rap music or a rapper influence you to do something absolutely stupid that can cost you your life, this video is probably, well, you know what? This video might not be for me because this story I'm about to tell you, that's exactly what happened. 6 9 almost got me clapped. Anyways, these disclaimers had absolutely nothing to do with this video, but let's get started. They can't stand the facts. No. A lot of us are insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determined and we disciplined. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Hey, yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Check this right. So, you know the intro I just played, the beginning part of the intro where you got my homeboy spills in it. We like, I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black. You know the intro that'd be like almost in every video? Funny story about that intro and how 6 ix influence almost cost me my life uh, actually putting together that video. Shout out to the homie Spill. Shout out to the whole 19th and Mass. Shout out to the whole West Side. But I got to share this story with y'all. I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever told this story uh, publicly. I think me and Spills like joked about it, whatever like that too, um, after the fact. I just want to say this up front too. Like this story is absolutely hilarious. This story is funny as hell now. Like right now the story is funny, but when this actually happened, I honestly thought something was going to happen to me and my girl. Like it, it's crazy. And it was absolutely my fault. Well, I'm blaming it on 6 9 6 9 fault. So listen, long story short, right? This is what happened. So, like I said, the intro in the beginning of the uh, video, that's my homeboy Spills. He's a, a rapper from Buffalo, New York, uh, doing dope things. His links will be in the description. I mean, his intro is on every every video. But anyways, this is my homie Spills. So, he was doing the video. Actually, he was doing that video. The, the intro, this video right here. He was doing this video right here. This old Buffalo joint. And I think I had to work or I was booked for a party. I had a DJ or something. I couldn't make the video. And Spill's a little bit upset that I couldn't be in the video because he, like, shouted me out in the video. And I was a little bit upset because that's my dog. And, like, the West Side showed me love. So I really wanted to be there. But long story short, um, I couldn't be there for the video. So about about a week, maybe about a week after he shot the video, right? This before the video came out. About a week after he shot the video, um, me and my fiance, we went to this place called uh, the West Side Bazaar. Now, mind you, I'm from the east side of Buffalo. I'm from an area called Central Park, Do We Have, um, where we were at was actually on the west side of Buffalo. Well, I know you probably think like it's all Buffalo. No, it's completely like the west side of Buffalo, east side of Buffalo is like completely two different countries to each other. Like if you come from the west to the east, completely foreign. You come from the east to the west, it's I thought I was in a different city. But anyways, long story short, we sitting down eating, and out of nowhere, no, you know what happened? We were sitting down eating, but prior to us going out eating, I was watching one of those six nine videos. I forgot who he was beefing with, but you know how he'd be like, "Yo, I'm in your hood. I'm about to go to the store. Anybody want something?" And he like take a picture or take a, a video in front of somebody's hood. I was like, "Yo, that's guy funny as hell." Because like this is before he got kidnapped and snitching and stuff like that too. This is when he was just recklessly doing whatever and nothing was happening to him. So everybody, we, we would just make it make make funny jokes. So I say something to somebody, I'm like, "Yeah, it's, it's effing Trayway." Like just being funny, whatever. Um, so long story short, me and my girl sitting down eating. And then I come up with a bright idea, like, Bay, listen, I need you to hold the camera. I got to go around the corner real quick. I just need you to hold the camera, take a quick picture real quick. I got a dope idea. Um, it, it's it's going to be funny as hell. Now, keep in mind, now in hindsight, I probably should have told her exactly what my plan was. I probably should have told her that our lives could possibly be in danger. I possibly should have told her that... Um, they didn't know I was going to be over there. I didn't know I was going to be over there. Like, I literally, like, I, I, I might got, like, ADHD or something like that where, like, I just randomly just think of something and then I got to go do it. So as we sitting down eating, I remember the part of the song where he's like, 
Um, ain't no block like my ain't no block like my blocker from 19th and Mass. So like, you know what, 19th and Massachusetts is right around the corner from where I'm at. I should be funny and go take a picture in front of the street sign on 19th and Mash, and then I tag Spills on Facebook like, yeah, I'm in Spills Hood. I'm about to go to the corner store. Anybody want anything while I'm here? Just being funny. Now, keep in mind, I'm good all over Buffalo. I'm going to keep it you. I'm good 95% of Buffalo. Like, 5% of Buffalo is, I probably wouldn't willingly go to, to it, but 95% of Buffalo, I'm good. On the west side, I'm good. So, I'm thinking this is going to be funny as hell. Now, mind you, I didn't tell Spills I was doing this. So, me and my girl, um, we, we ride past 19th and Mass. I pull up to the stop sign. I look both ways. I go down. I come back around. I circle block again. She's like, where's you going? Like, it's right here. I'm like, chill. Just don't worry about it. What she didn't know was that I was thinking, like, I'm going to circle these blocks, like, three, four times. Make sure that nobody's outside. I was heavy on my 6 9 stuff. But make sure nobody's outside. And then we're going to hop out real quick. I'm going to take the picture. We're going to leave, get to a safe location, and I'm going to post it. Ha, ha, ha. All funny jokes. Now, that was the plan. Absolutely not what happened. So, we circle the block four or five times to make sure nobody's outside. And I'm talking about it's absolute. It's not even any stray cats outside. Like, it's completely nobody outside on 19th and Mass this day that this actually happened. So, um, we pull up. Uh, on I think it's Massachusetts. We put up on Massachusetts, and it's like a corner store right there. She's like, all right, Kate. She's like, okay, cool. So after I take this picture, we can just run to the store. I want to get a Pepsi and some chips. I'm like, nah, we, we we can't do that. So she's like, why? The store's right there. And I'm like, she don't. She's not really into like social media and the whole six nine thing like that. So she don't understand. Like I'm actually kind of trolling right now. Like our life is in jeopardy. She's just thinking like I'm just hopping out taking a picture. Now mind you, my girl is from the projects, but she just wasn't thinking about it like that. And I wasn't thinking about it like that. So we hop out of the car. I'm like, listen, you are gonna have to wait for that Pepsi and chips until this get done. We're gonna go back to the east side or back close to the house, and then we can go to the store. So she's like, that just makes no sense. Like that's stupid. But whatever. Come on. So I'm like, listen, we're gonna get out of the car. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm staying here. I'm gonna take the picture. I, I'm, you take the picture, and then we're gonna get up out of here. She's like, all right, cool. Now, keep in mind, this is the key point. Nobody was outside. It's completely empty. I'm eyeballing the corner store. Nobody went in the store. Nobody came out of the store. Now, the way that it's set up, my back is like, like it's like the street sign, the street pole, but my back is to the actual corner store in order for me to take the picture. So, I go to take the picture. All I hear is, and then she's moving all down. She's on the ground. She can, and you know how women are. That's why I say don't take a woman because she's trying to get the right angles. I don't care if the picture is blurry. As long as it's say 19th and Mass, my job is done. But she's trying to make sure it's like a professional picture. Like she must have like rolled on the ground, turned the camera five ways. I probably had like 120 pictures. All I wanted was one. So keep in mind, nobody was outside. So as my back is to the corner store, some all I hear, all I hear out of my right ear is, "Hey, yo, fam, what's this about?" So I'm like, "Damn, I do not want to turn around." I got my girl out here. This ain't even my hood. Like, I, I don't, this is not good. So I, I slowly turn around. I was like, huh? What you say? He's like, fam, what's this about? Now, in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, where the hell did this dude just come from? Like, this dude just appeared like in the middle, like he was in the middle of the street, just appeared like some type of time transport or something like that. So homie just appeared. He walking up on me like, yo, what's good, man? Well, what's this about? So me thinking fast, I was like, oh, no, nah, this I'm DJ Bandana Black. You know, uh, Spills, he got the, the So Buffalo uh, video. Like, I couldn't make the video shoot, so I'm just here to shoot my part. That's it, you know what I'm saying? So I could send him, send it to him for the, for the video because I, I wasn't able to make it. So he was like, oh, okay, okay. And then he turned around. He's like, oh, yeah, that's Bandana. He good, fam. He good. I'm like, who is he talking to? It was a truck that I pulled up with, like, two or three guys in the truck that was just looking at us taking this picture. Now, mind you, I didn't see that truck. I didn't even see him. They must have teleported there, too. So he, he walked over to me. Like, no, that's Bandana Black. He good. Da -da -da. So he walked back over to us. He's like, yo, Bandana, man, you good. Man, I ain't know that was you. You good. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, babe, hurry up and take the picture. Let's get out of here. She's like, why? He said you good. Like, we can go to the store and all that. I'm like, nah, because this, like, this is the west side. I don't know whether... You good mean the same thing on 19th and Mass as it means on Fillmore and Dewey. Like, I don't know if it means the same thing. Because, like, in New York, for, for those of you just watching this video, if you're not from New York, um, New York State, you good has a lot of meanings. So, like, I can say you good and that means, like, no, you good, come in. Or I can say you good, like, you got a problem. Or I can say, like, you good, like, asking you a question. Like, you good can be good or bad. But I didn't know what type of, I mean, because I'm on the west side. It, sometimes it, it, it just doesn't cross over. So I'm like, I don't know whether we good or whether we good, but let's just hurry up and take these pictures so we can get the hell up out of here. So long story short, she take about another 30 pictures, just risking her life, like, if she doesn't already know that we're in danger, and we hop in the car. So at this point, I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Like, this this just didn't seem like, how did they, like, I'm from the east side of Buffalo, and, like, our thing is orchestrated, too. Like, you can't just pop up in Central Park, like, asking about me. Like, eventually, like, a week later or something like that, I'm going to get a phone call. Somebody going to get in contact with me. Yo, such and such is looking around for you. I'm just letting you know. Probably, like, a few days later. Um, what happened next happened immediately. So, we pulled off. 
I'm happy that we out of the, out of the area. We like a block or two away, and my phone go off. I'm like, it, it Spills is calling me. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Spills is calling me after we just did this. And uh, this is just crazy. So I pick up the phone, bro, what's good? Like, yo, listen, I got the funniest story. You're not going to believe this. He was like, yo, white boys just called me from the hood talking about some dude, bandana black, just popped up on the block taking pictures and stuff like that, too. And uh, he's like, I know that they joke. I know that they playing because you wouldn't go over there if you didn't call me. I'm like, bro, funny story. So I explained to him what happened. I'm like, how the hell did they call you so quick? I'm literally praying like a block and a half away. Like, I don't know how they call him so quick or even knew to call him immediately, but they definitely called him. It was like, yo, black out here. He's like, no, that's my man. I forgot his name, but he was actually in the, um, in Spill's video, Picture Me Rolling. It's like a tall, brown-skinned guy with beard and glasses. I forgot his name, but that was the guy who was saying, like, yo, you good? He's like, if you want to take pictures, videos, all on the block, you, you good. You good over here. So as I'm talking to Spills, Spills is like, yo, my, you, you could have finished what you was doing. Like, homie said you was good. I'm like, yeah, I know he said I was good, but I don't know if it was you good, you good, or you good, you good. He's like, no, nah, that's my man. They knew who you was. He was saying, like, you good. Like, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, take pictures, do videos, whatever you want to do, like, you good. Like, it wasn't on some disrespectful stuff. Honestly, this was joking. Like, Spills is my man. That's my homie. I was just, like, it was a funny joke thing. I've done this a couple other times where you know, I did this one time at uh, me and homie Doughboy Key was playing around. We always joke like that. And I took a picture in front of the uh, drink at Bardo and Marshall. It almost got out of hand. Like people was hitting them like, yo, what's good? You beef with the DJ nigga? Like, yo, that's my man. Like we were joking. Like I didn't know because like people on my side know like I'm joking when I do stuff like that. But I never really thought about it. Like people on their side might not know that I was joking. But honestly, that was the last time that I actually did that because I was like, you know what? It's not risk. It's not worth uh, risking my life. But this is a, a funny story how... If six nine, if I never would have seen six nine do that, like, yo, I'm in such and such hood, I'm about to go to the store. Anybody want something? I just thought it'd be fucking funny to do it. Almost cost us our life. I don't know what they would. Now, mind you, like I said, I didn't know he was out there, let alone the truck with the two, three other people that was out there. And they were just looking at us. Like when he said into the truck, I looked directly at the truck. All I seen was do make an eye contact. Like I can't wait for him to tell me that you're not good over here because I'm about to up to thirty. That's what I was thinking. He probably wasn't thinking that. I don't know the way he was looking. He might have been thinking that. I don't know who the other dude was, but I guess he's from over there too. Over there too. But yeah, shouts out to the homie Spills. Make sure y'all subscribe to uh, Spills channel too. We got to get him to a thousand subscribers uh, by the end of the year. Right below the video, I will put the links in description for spills and for that whole video so that intro where it's like i'm so buffalo like i'm banned in the black i'll put the link down there so you can check out the whole song i actually did make a cameo in the song but we shot my part uh, about a week later in the radio station only because i was at work and my schedule was crazy but yeah that's the story time for today um so the moral of the story is one don't let rap music or rappers convince you or influence you to do something that you know is not smart uh for like your well-being and your health and two if you ever go do anything slightly dangerous either don't bring a female with you or fully explain to her like this is dangerous like i need you just to hop out and take a picture she's trying to get angles make sure everything is good i'm like yo i don't care if the picture is blurry as long as that street sign show we good but anyways y'all hop in the comments let me know how y'all feel about this i know the last story time that i did a lot of people hit me up and said we want another story time um so i figured i'd share that with you guys uh because it wasn't a lot of news uh today um, and it, it was not a news on the net today anyways to report on. Um, I'll check you guys later on tonight. If you are watching this video today, which I don't even know what the date is, so if you're watching this tomorrow and I say today, you probably gonna think it's then. But if you're watching it today, today, like the actual day that we in, uh, <laughs> midnight tonight, we will be live for the Let's Talk podcast, me and my homie, uh, Charlie Buffalo, and that's at twitch.tv slash Charlie Buffaloes. Twitch.tv slash Charlie Buffalo. I'll put the links in the description. Maybe set a reminder. We will be going live at midnight. You, you guys are all welcome to, to join us. Anyways, it's DJ Bandana Black. Remember, life is what you make it, so make it. I'm out. They can't stand the facts. No. A lot of are insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm Bandana Black. I'm from the 716. We determined and we disciplined. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.